Hello everyone, Jeff here to discuss efficient and inefficient portfolios. As an example, we are going to start with a portfolio we're calling A, which has a 10% expected return and a standard deviation of 20%. Recall that standard deviation is a measure of risk, and our portfolio A here happens to be consistent with a diversified stock portfolio. This is the expected return and standard deviation for a stock portfolio. So what we're going to do, um, efficient, of course, has some definitions, but I really think it's better to or easier to understand if we look at some examples here. So let's pull up a second portfolio, B, and compare it to A. What we can see here is that they both have the same expected return. Great. However, portfolio B has a larger risk. If we are trying to decide between portfolio A and portfolio B, everyone, literally everyone, should prefer portfolio A to B. Why? Because they both have the same expected return, but you can get that expected return at a lower risk with portfolio A. Now, portfolio B does have a higher risk, and there's a tendency to say, okay, well, higher risk means higher return. Well, not automatically. And that's what's going on in this example. B has a higher risk. It does not have a higher return than portfolio A. It has the same expected return. So A, definitely the better portfolio. What we would say here using the terms is that portfolio B is inefficient. Let's throw another example in here and look at portfolio C. It has an 8% expected return and a 20% standard deviation. And we will again compare that to portfolio A, and I'll take B out of the mix here for a second. Comparing A to C, we can see that they both have the same level of risk, 20% standard deviation. However, at that level of risk, A has a higher expected return than C. Therefore, every investor should prefer a over C. If you're going to take a certain level of risk, you will always prefer the portfolio with the higher expected return, in this case A, and again we can say that portfolio C will be inefficient. Now to look at portfolio D and A, just to be clear here, it doesn't have to be a one or the other situation, portfolio D has a lower expected return and a larger risk. And uh, so we can throw that one out as inefficient as well, just as we could throw out B and C. Let's look at one final one here, which is portfolio E. And in comparing A to E, we see that E has a lower expected return and a lower standard deviation. So lower return, but lower risk as well. In this case, when you are comparing these two portfolios, you cannot say anything. You could say something for yourself personally, perhaps, but you can't say anything about all investors. In this case, we have one portfolio with higher return, higher risk, one portfolio with lower return, lower risk. It would be up to the individual investor to decide which of these portfolios is better for them. We can definitely say B, C, and D are inefficient because of their comparison to A. We cannot say that about portfolio E.